Notification squad! No? I'll just comment on my own video. Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video showing you a new Adobe Premiere Pro preset pack that I'm releasing to you guys, all for free. All you have to do is check out the link in the description below, and that'll take you to my website where you can download the preset directly. With that said, this one's called Glitch Effect, and it's completely modular, so you guys can play around with the settings yourself and get a completely different glitch every time. These are pretty much what I use every day, and I decided to make a preset pack out of it because if you know me, I like working fast. But before we jump into the video, I'm going to read the number one upvoted comment from my last week's video, which was from a guy called Merritt McKinney. Kinney, and he said, this is unbelievable. Seriously, so easy. Best premiere packs I can find. I cannot believe you're releasing these for free. Keep at it, and thank you so much. Well, Merritt, thank you so much, but this preset is not free. It is one mil. I'm just kidding, guys. It's totally free. Just check out the link in the description below. As always, if you guys like the video, let me know in the comment section below, and I might shout you out on my next video. Also, click that subscribe button and that like button, and we'll get started with this. If you really liked it, there's a donate button on my website. Just kidding. You don't have to donate. Alright guys, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, we're going to simply right click on presets, click on import presets, navigate to wherever you downloaded Cage Glitch Effect preset pack from, and click open. Once you open that, click on Kyler Holland presets, go to transitions, and open up the glitch folder. You'll notice that we have three subfolders. One's labeled one layer, the other one's one layer over video, and the other one is three layers. But before we get started, this is what a glitch should look like at some point in time. We're just going to grab a section of video right here and move it to the end of our timeline. So we're not going to worry about the auto track right now, so I'm just going to unlink that and delete it since I only want to work with the video track. All you have to do is make a cut in your video. And then I like to go five frames because I feel like glitching is simple and it should be short. It shouldn't be long. So all you have to do is hold the shift key and hit the right arrow key once. That'll jump you five frames. Hold control and then K. That'll cut it or command K on a Mac. And basically this first glitch effect is one layer, five to ten frames. You can do a mirror glitch. If we scrub through that, it will simply mirror in certain locations um, and just kind of like go all over the place. It's random. Um, and then the next one is a rotation glitch that will pretty much rotate your image as it goes through. The next one is a zoom glitch and this one will, as you expected, it will zoom in and out. And then the one layer over video basically means that when you have your video selected right here, you can alt click and drag it to the top to duplicate that layer. And you can use these one layer over video effects. One is a horizontal cropping glitch. And that basically looks like this where you, it crops horizontally, random effects. And the next one is a light glitch. This pretty much uh, creates this light effect, which is also modular. And the next one is a vertical cropping glitch. This is the same thing as the horizontal, only it does a little vertical lines. One thing that you'll notice about the one layer over video effects is that you can pretty much add as many as you want. All you have to do is make sure you click the bottom video and duplicate that one since that is the original. And you can go in in the effects controls and you can change these settings around. You can change the scale and then you can literally even keep adding more. The world is at your fingertips, guys. You can literally make whatever you want. As you see, there's horizontal vertical lines and there's also a light leak over the top. I really wanted you guys to just play around with this preset pack because honestly, a glitch is something that should be completely random and you guys can randomize the crap out of this. Now let's look at the final folder, which says three layers, five to 10 frames. So as always, make a cut here, jump five frames. But for this one, we're going to jump 10 frames and then make a cut there all you have to do is duplicate this layer three times and this is an rgb split if you can't tell already drag the one that says bot to bottom drag the one that says mid to the mid layer and drag the one top that says top yes i used to play league of legends if we play back through this it looks something like this it's pretty much just like an rgb split where it goes through and everything is just going super crazy but like always, you can go in each one of these individual effects controls, open up the transform tab, and pretty much manipulate and change these settings around, and you will get a different RGB curve every single time. I made this as awesome as possible, even changing the scale does some cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for checking this uh, video out. I'm really excited to see what you guys make, and if you like the tutorial, please subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future.